October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Now is a good time for consumers and businesses to look at their online security measures promoted by the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. <coughs> Pardon me. The infrastructure this month is designed to raise awareness about the importance of cybersecurity. During the coronavirus pandemic, consumers across the country have been reporting they are victimized by scammers through the internet and other electronic be means. <clears throat> Pardon me. And the Better Business Bureau wants you to be aware. Joining us now is Chris Thedford with the Better Business Bureau. Do you have a cough drop, Chris? That's my first question. <clears throat> uh, maybe I could talk a bit and help you out, Dan. All right. It is it, National Cybersecurity Month. Yeah. yeah. Is online scamming on the rise? It is. So what we know at BBB in 2020 so far, reports of phishing attempts through our scam tracker portal on our website are up about 58%. And when you step back from that, you understand why. If, if everybody's honest with themselves, they understand that people are spending more time in front of screens, partly because we're not doing social things with people as much as we did. So there's more time that we're spending both at home and if you're still going to work in front of screens. And if you're working from home, you're spending even more time at home in front of computers. Computers, and scammers know that and so they're going to try to take advantage of you by either getting you to send the money or by doing things which could compromise uh, your identity and could lead to identity theft so COVID is another culprit here Dan uh, and that's why this month is a particularly important time for us all to be aware of what we're doing online yeah Chris how do we know whether or not to click on something that may be unfamiliar to us so what biggest tip there and, and big red flag is if you get a text or an email unsolicited from someone that has a link, you really want to step back and make sure before you click on those, Dan, because those are prime opportunities for scammers to take uh, advantage of you. So it's that unsolicited element. If I were having a conversation with you, Dan, and I was expecting you to text me something with a link, that's a different situation. But if out of the blue I get a text and I was not expecting it and it has a link, your red flag should go up. And how do we go about choosing virus protection, Chris? Right, so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have the most up-to-date protections for all of your devices. So you might have a phone, you might have a pad, you might have a computer. You wanna make sure all of those devices, each and every one of them has the most up-to-date uh, programs on them to help protect you uh, in the case of scammers getting into your device. And, and how do we protect ourselves when we make online purchases? two ways. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you do your research and to make sure that you're purchasing something from a trustworthy uh, organization online. And we can help you out with that at BBB. If you just go to BBB.org, you can see everything that we know about a place. The second way that you can help yourself is during the paying process, that you pay with a credit card first. And second of all, that you make sure that it is a secured connection to transmit your payment information. So it should say HTTPS in the URL box. All right. Good information. Chris Thedford with the Better Business Bureau in St. Louis. BBB.org is always a good resource. Thanks so much, Chris. Thanks, Dan. We'll be right back.